Alright guys, so here's my plan for a dumbbell attachment. Uh, you can see here's the outer rubber weights of the dumbbell, here's the bar that comes across. We have, um, basically, if you took like a pipe and cut it in half, so that it's, uh, you cut it in half long ways, so that it's kind of creating a trough, it's going to be a trough coming up under the bar. And when you grip it with your fingers, it's going to pinch the two ends of the trough together. So it's going to be like like this. And then when you grip it, it's going to pinch. And it could be sticky rubber on the inside of the trough, so it has a nice grip. So when you grip it, it will lock onto the handle of the dumbbell. And then I just drew here really light around the whole thing, uh, like a Velcro strap. You can see this is the bottom of it, this is the left edge of it, this is the top edge, here's the right edge. And that will just strap it all down into place so that if you couldn't grip it that well, it will kind of lock it onto this dumbbell even better. Um, so this trough is coming up from a weight plate. Just little bars on the weight, weight plate come up off either side, they're attached to the weight plate. This could be a 5 pound weight plate or a 10 pound weight plate and it's connected to this trough which is then locked down with velcro or with just your finger grip. I'll test it with finger grip first to see if it's enough, it might be plenty. Just to grip the trough tight and then your your hand grip itself is what holds the, the weight plate onto the bottom of the dumbbell. And then coming off the side of the weight plate will just be a couple of plastic things that if, the, if this were your left hand and you're holding it like this, um, so your left hand would be here, your arm's coming out this way, here's your bicep, here's your arm. Uh, when you come up with this, like that, these bars have um, the ability to kind of lift this plate so it doesn't want to spin axially in place it will stay locked in this uh, orientation with your hand. If your hand's over here, we don't want it swinging around and hitting you in the forearm. So that will keep it where it is with relation to the bar and the dumbbell. So these will kind of just lock it to be right here at all times. So your grip doesn't have to also keep it in place, making it want to like not twist around. So that's what these bars do. Um, and then the same thing with like front raises, they'll keep this plate in place, shrugs, different things. No, shrugs, you don't actually lift your arm, this thing just kind of hangs. So just gravity would keep, would keep the weight plate at the bottom if you're doing shrugs or squats or something like that. So you wouldn't actually need these for that. But when you're going to be twisting this, this dumbbell upward, then gravity would want to bring this down. So these just lock it in place where it is so it's not going to swing around and hit you in the arms as you lift the dumbbell upward. So, um, <clears throat> and then the final thing is what if you wanted to add more than just the one weight plate? What? Why is it not focusing? What the hell? That's weird. Uh, it doesn't seem focused for me. Huh. This is really bizarre. Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> and then the final thing is I just drew a little a little hook right here coming off the back end and the front end of this weight plate. And that would enable you to put a second weight plate above it. So let's say this were a five pound weight plate. You could add another five to make it ten pounds. You would just slide it in behind this hooked part, and it would snap in behind this hooked part. And then to remove it, you would just unsnap it from this one. You could see this is like one of those triangular snaps. So it would just slide back behind here, and then snap under this front one. And then that'd lock it in place, so it would be locked with this bottom weight plate, so you could double it. The only problem with this design, though, is if you wanted a like a 2.5 on the top and a 5 on the bottom, this is only designed to be for a plate of the same size. So, maybe...
maybe we would need to make all of our weights the same size by just creating a cardboard extension to make the, the weight plate of a 2.5 the same diameter as the weight plate of a 5 just with cardboard. Although I don't know if that would be strong enough. It would probably bend and pop out after a while. So I'm not sure this design is actually going to work. I even thought of whiting it out. But I just left it in there in general for now because it just indicates a desire to ultimately be able to add more than just the one weight plate on the bottom by stacking these. So we might even be able to uh, just use like like one of these um, one of these paper clasp things you guys know what I'm talking about those things that you pinch down and it, it can clasp a stack of papers or whatever we could use that kind of clamp a couple of those to clamp another one but that's a lot of work like you gotta pinch it slide it on let go I'm looking to have all this just be very quick to, to change the weight. Very quick and easy. If you take away this Velcro strap and you take away these two clamps and you just have the weight, you're literally just dropping the barbell into this little trough here and then just picking it up with your hand. You don't even need to do anything. You just drop your barbell above a weight plate and grab and pick up the weight plate. You don't even need to snap anything, screw anything, nothing. And that's that's what I think is going to be what makes this design really, really nice is you just have little weight plates sitting on the floor and you pick the weight plate you want, drop your barbell above it, and then just pick it up. And the, the weight plate just becomes attached because of your grip gripping the trough part to the dumbbell. So that's kind of uh, the design layout I have. And um, this is going to save me a lot of money because then I don't have to buy dumbbells of different weights or I don't have to buy adjustable dumbbells where you have to unscrew something and then slide on a weight, and then unscrew something else, then slide on the weight. That's a lot of work to have to do every time you want to change the weights. With this, you just drop, I'll have two sizes of dumbbells. One's a 25, and one's a 15. And I'll just drop it into whatever weight plate I want, drop it over the top of it, and pick the two up. And now it just became a different weight. And then if I want just to have the dumbbell by itself again, I just pick it up without, like, pick it up with my fingers over to one side. I grip it with thumb and fore, forefinger over here where this trough is not at to lift it up out of the trough so it's no longer going to be lifted up with the trough, leaving the plate on the ground and just having the dumbbell by itself. So that's how you'd separate them. You could do that with one hand as long as the width of the trough is not as wide as the width of the overall bar handle. You should be able to get a finger behind here and, and scoop the dumbbell out without having the trough get swept up with it. And hopefully I won't need to have this Velcro strap to, on the trough. Hopefully just my hand grip will be enough. And I think that'll be good to strengthen your finger grip anyways. So that's not a problem. So I'm actually planning to do this project with um, creating detachable weight plates for my dumbbells pretty soon. Um, like maybe in my next project actually for daily miscellaneous project time. That's one hour a day I'll be able to work on that. And um, it'll probably take a, a couple weeks, but it'll be worth it. And I think it could help a lot of people if they're really not wanting to buy expensive dumbbell sets and they want a simple, easy solution to just add a little bit of weight to the dumbbells they already have or whatever. So I'm excited about it. Let me change my stream title. Tell you what, guys, we were looking into prices of dumbbells, even used, and it was like a dollar a pound. So, if I wanted uh, two 35 pound dumbbells, it'd be like 70 bucks. And, you know, if I want a huge array, like a rack of dumbbells, I mean, we're talking about hundreds of dollars, there was just no cheap way around it. Now, I thought of forging my own dumbbells of melted iron and building my own forge and just using scrap metal then it's all free but this is way cheaper since I already have some random weight plates which I plan to create attachment 
an attachment system for onto my dumbbells. I already paid for that. And then I just felt like, oh, it's too much work, and I, I don't really have an attachment system that seems attractive to me. It seems too complicated, and the different ideas I had would have taken a little while to put each dumbbell on. But I just decided after hitting a dead end with get, getting cheap used dumbbells, I figured you could buy, like, a pair of 35-pound dumbbells for, like, 10 bucks used. But nope, it's like 80, 100 bucks, something crazy. Like, I couldn't believe it that you can't get it for just junk prices. It's really wild. So that kind of forced me to tap into my creative side and really solve this issue of attaching weight plates to dumbbells to make the dumbbells heavier. And so you're using the base weight, which is the expensive part, the 25 pound dumbbell. And bumping that up to 35 is a lot cheaper than buying a 35 pound dumbbell where you're starting from zero weight, you're buying the full 35 pounds, which is expensive. Just the material costs alone. So you're kind of reusing or recycling the, w the original weight of 25 pounds and just adding to it that way rather than starting from zero and having a whole new dumbbell each time. So I think it's more efficient.